Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Sheila. I don't know about you, but I have had a busy week. Yes, and if you're a busy person and you don't have time to cook, then this is one for you. Don't you like quick and easy recipes? I do like those quick and easy recipes. Yes. And if you're looking for something simple and easy to make on your stovetop, then this is the perfect recipe. You're going to love it. So we're going to take you back right now and show you how it's done. We have our skillet on medium high heat and we are adding two pounds of lean ground beef. Now this actually calls for a pound and a half of lean ground beef, but I'm going to take about half a pound out and use it for something else. We're going to drain some of the grease. I like to get a little bit of that grease out of there. And then one medium diced sweet onion. Oops, there's still a few in there. Yep, make sure we get it all. <laughs> Cook those for a couple of minutes. Just enough so the onions get soft. Then one tablespoon of W sauce. Got to have a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Work. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper. And one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, which is really good. Italian seasoning is great in a lot of different recipes. I use it all the time. And why not? Stir that into the meat. So once we get that all mixed up, we're gonna add one tablespoon of minced garlic. We will let that simmer for just a couple minutes till it gets fragrant. Now we'll start adding our veggies. So we've got one medium chopped yellow bell pepper, one medium chopped orange bell pepper, and one medium chopped green bell pepper. Gotta have some green. Now we got our color in here. We love color. And I love this recipe because it's so easy. You know, you don't have to sit there and stuff all those peppers, but you get the same flavor. One can of drained diced tomatoes. It's definitely a colorful dish. So we'll just pour that in. We stir those in. Then we add one cup of beef stock. And maybe a quarter cup more. It just depends on what kind of rice you're using. And then we're gonna turn up the heat because we wanna bring that beef stock to a boil. Now you can use whatever rice you have on hand. I'm gonna use quick rice today, so we just got some minute rice. It's gonna go a lot quicker for us. And we're all about quick and easy dinners, so this is a quick one. Now that it's boiling. We've got one cup of minute rice. So we're gonna put this on medium low. We will cover it. And let this cook for about five to eight minutes. Now if you're using regular rice, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Just until the rice gets done. Mm, it's been about eight minutes. So we will turn off the heat. We will add one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And I like to use the sharp cheddar because it really adds a lot of great flavor. But you can use whatever you have on hand. One cup of shredded mozzarella. We love our cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Mix that all into the meat and rice and veggies. This is a quick recipe. It is. Let us know how well you like this recipe because I think you're going to be making it a lot. Then we will top with a little more shredded mozzarella cheese. Mm, look at that. I love this kind of recipe. It's so quick and so easy. We will cover it and let it melt for about two to three minutes. So now we'll check it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like it's done. The sauce is thickened and the cheese is melted. Mm. Mm. Yummy. It smells delicious. You know with all that color, it's going to be good. This is my bowl, you know it is. Mm -hmm. All that cheese and colorful veggies. Mm. You could easily store this in the fridge for a few days or freeze it. Oh yeah, you could definitely store this and eat on it all week. I don't think it would last that long. <laughs> As Steve would say. Is this the best unstuffed pepper skillet you've ever tried? If it ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.